They're a year 11 class, so they're doing their GCSE soon. They've been together as a class for quite a few years now, and I've been their teacher for quite a few years. So they know me, and they know each other. Lesson before, they were in groups, and they had a poem each, and they've all planned a lesson. So even though you're only going to see two lessons today, every small group has a lesson prepared. And if they don't get a chance to deliver today, they'll be delivering over the course of the week. We're going to do one more poem today. We're going to have a look at stealing. Two boys are going to come up, Samson and Zayim, and hopefully they're going to do the same thing and show you how to really nail down an A-star on this. All right, we know from when we looked at it before what stealing is roughly about. We want to look deeper into it so we can get higher grades with it. Are there any points to link a family life to the character? So at any point in the poem, can you see a quote which you could analyse which would, where you'd be able to say this could link back to him having a problem or something different about his family life to any other person? Maybe you could show that he had a troubled childhood because, you know, normal children that build snowmen whenever it snows just for fun and he stole it just to make them feel bad. So maybe he's trying to make them feel how he felt when he was a child. Because obviously the stealing of a snowman is symbolic, it's not for the snowman, it's for what it represents, and it could be representative of a childhood or something like that, and a problem in childhood. Polly? The fact that he's this camera shows that he doesn't have any, like, but he's like pinching someone's memories and like their pictures that they have, so which could show that he doesn't have any memories of his own, like he doesn't have happy, happy memories like the family life. Yeah, it shows that he's taking the memories of other people. But it could also mean that he's sort, of, he's sort of annoyed at the people that are creating all these memories, which shows, again, he may have had a troubled past. Yeah, and by giving a double meaning, it moves up your grades to showing that you can see layers and you can see that it could mean more than one thing when you look at it. How would you say that the way that the speech has been written within the poem is used to an effect to the reader? Because it's written in a particular style, which is meant to be the style of the person. So what is there about the style it gives you an insight into the character. Polly? I think it's like the stereotypes of like male and female. Like the way um, he speaking is like all like a matter of fact and like it's very like rough and he just says things as it is. Like ways you'd expect a woman to be like more flowery and like elaborate more, kind of. <laughs> like, it's like stereotype, kind of. Yes, the way, the way that the person speaks makes you think that they're a male, which is a technique that's used by the writer which you could pick up on and use in a PQA which shows that you're looking into it. But the fact that it never says he anywhere within it means that that's all just done by the style of the writing and not by anything else. We'd like to do a PQA and you're going to write the PQA. We'll give you some, we can do the question and you can write through it and we'll come around and help with it. What is significant about the things that are stolen in stealing? That'll be your question. He knows he doesn't need it, but he's taking it just for the fun. Maybe it's like a pastime, who knows? It could be like a hobby. Right. I was talking about the um, about how he stole the bust of Shakespeare because mm -hmm. we were saying how um, the Shakespeare language is um, it's misunderstood a lot because of the context that it was in then and how it's perceived now. It's like casually, okay, maybe I'll do this. Maybe He's I'll do leaving that. his trace everywhere to yeah. try and build upon many relationships with other people. So it's almost though he's searching for his own memories and leaving. Identity. Yeah, he's searching for his identity. There. Are we ready for feedback to go through it? We're going to try and grade some of your paragraphs and see where they are with stuff, see if we can improve them. The, the making of the snowman is like the Rousseau's theory about how a uh, man is born free and everywhere he is in chains. And it's, you do it as a young child, so um, you, you are quite carefree and you're not aware of the chains. But as the snowman melts, your childhood melts away. So he's going to boost your grade up. You're mentioning historical context, so... So easy. Yeah, just show your knowledge. If you have the knowledge, you need to show it. Can, can I have a go? Yeah, yeah and as, uh, uh, Samson said it there, but it's worth repeating. As soon as you start saying, and this word could mean this, or Duffy may have meant the word to have meant this, then you're getting towards the A there because it's alternative meanings. Just by showing that you're aware of other meanings gets you access to the A and the A style. The last line, um, you don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Uh, the quote also shows how content he is with this fact that he's un misunderstood and is, al um, is almost arrogant because he might see himself as misunderstood because he's above everybody else. He's kind of too high above for anybody to understand to um, uh, be understood. And Shakespeare is also, he was considered um, a high part of society now, now because he has a massive influence on today. When you brought in that second quote, which we said about, it makes it a very, very, very strong paragraph because you've got 
the original idea and then you've brought in the layers. And a deep understanding of a poem is what gets you an A star. Anybody got any other ideas from their paragraphs that they'd like to say? Keep it quite manageable at first. You don't want students trying to teach the whole syllabus. They can't do it. Give them something really short and manageable and bite-sized to teach the class. Um, something that the students are already an expert in to start off with because then the confidence will come. Make sure they've, the students know what a good lesson should look like because if they're going to come up the front and waste 20 minutes just talking at the class, there's no point. So spend a lot of time with your students. Make sure they know what assessment for learning is. Make sure they know the different strategies. And trust your students is the bottom line. We had to find a way of injecting some originality. And they've all got good ideas individually. So we just needed a means of them sharing those ideas. And if all the teachers up and down the country are saying the same thing, it's very hard for students to be original. And they've got the best ideas. They'll listen to each other much more than they'll listen to the teacher. That's for sure. They respect each other more than they respect us.